How's it going guys? I'm your host Carbine Gaming. Welcome back to another Nostalgia Quest episode. And yes, it's been a long while since we last had our last Nostalgia Quest episode. Actually not that long, it's been about a week. So yeah, uh, we've had some special videos along the way as well as a big release this week which was why I wasn't able to do a Nostalgia Quest episode on Tuesday. But anyways guys, today we are finally back and we are almost caught up with the story. In fact, I think we'll be caught up. Uh, by the time this video ends. So in between this story, uh, from where we last left off was the end of the Karnex uh, saga thingy where we learn about Karnex's master. Afterwards, there's some quests on uh, Nightbane but we've already done that inside of the Devourer saga. Now in in between here, there's a bunch of Devourer saga quests as well as a chunk of uh, Audi Orient quests and then there's also Dracomancer saga quests and um, the... What, what was that called? Uh, wait, Jackoman Devara Saga, Jackomancer Saga, uh, yeah, and there's some rare quests in between as well, which we are unfortunately unable to go through. So yeah, it's sort of like all over the place, but I will not go through what I've already done. So today to kickstart things, we are going to do the Crystal Cave quest. Now I cannot remember entirely if I've already done this uh quest on camera. I know for a fact that I've done this for the Let's Play Dragon Fable series in the Dragon Fable part, but for Adventure Quest, I don't know if I've really done it on camera or not. So let us go ahead and do it again because why? not uh have you heard any rumors as a rare item hunter i've heard of the legend of the crystal cave some say there is a cache of mighty weapons there. dragon faber crossover adventure all right so let's go to that one following the directions of valencia the rare item hunter you make your way to the crystal cave the territory has been has barely been explored before and the caverns themselves forgotten for years upon entering you expect only darkness but find something more Here I am, the crystal caves. It should be dark in here, but it's almost bright as day. All the light seems to be coming from inside the crystals. There must be magic here, somewhere time. Somewhere. Time to find out if there are rare weapons here too. Right, so it's a very staple part of a uh, nostalgic or old dragon fable. For adventure quest, I would say not really. Like, is this quest is not as... Uh, popular or as well known as his uh, Dragon Faber counterpart to be very honest. I don't know why that is the case, it just is the case. Alright, uh, like yeah, it was never really a big uh, nostalgic thing inside of AQ, but this quest was a very big thing inside of the early days of Dragon Fable. So I just wanted to point out to you guys uh, who are new players, or uh, if maybe if you're a returning player, you should know what I'm talking about. Whoops, forgot to switch out. Janus up of power here from our previous video. That's okay. Just take this out. Alright, so I have no idea where to go. Let's just hit in a random direction. Let's go up. So seeing that this is a crystal cave, I assume that most of the monsters here are of the light element. So we will just use our darkness element and that should uh, take care of them very easily. So I am using a burst spell and a Blood Mage armor on top of that, which means that my HP cost is going to be pretty hefty and I'm going to have to watch my HP cost so that I don't die to some random low level mob, okay? <laughs> uh, I have no idea why that always happens to me, but yeah. Come on, no full heal. Oh, they gave potions for the quest. I'll assume there's no full heal then. So let's just keep going up. There's no left or right, so it's just what? Up, 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 all the way? Maybe it is, I don't know. Maybe we'll save our HP a little bit. Let's go ahead and hit him, whack him with the normal weapon instead. Yeah, that works too. I guess we don't need the spell. The spell is pretty much overkill. And on top of that, we're also eating a whole bunch of damage. Plus, this guy is only level 11. Why would we even need to overkill uh, it using the spell? A normal weapon attack would do. Alright. Nice. So apart from potions, I guess you don't get any full heals inside of this entire quest. That's pretty standard for a lot of the older quests, like you don't get full heals, rather they give you potions so you decide when to heal. But the bad thing about that is that uh, potions are not a guaranteed full heal. And on top of that, you can only heal, use the potions in combat for AQ. It's unlike Dragon Faber, but you can use your potions anytime. So yeah, so now we go back. Oh, we have to fight again. Well, that sucks. Slat warp. Oh, this one actually has a lot more health. 4,000 over health. Very, very weak to win though. Let's do win then. Uh, I'm going to do... What's that? Big dictionary. Okay. Yeah, 200% resist to win. Holy crap. 
Uh, pretty weak to darkness as well. Okay, you know what? We'll go ahead and heal up. Oh, okay. Nice automatic heal. That's good. I guess we can put out our wind pet here. Where's our wind pet? Uh, pick Drake. Choke. Okay. Uh, we can restore a bit more MP first. Let's go for the more powerful spell. I think the weaker one won't be able to take it out, so might as well just go for the powerful one. Okay, easy. This is also a very interesting monster, Slat Warp. Seemingly a part of animated pieces of heavy slate stone. No, because there's some green weird thing hiding underneath it. And you know what? Let's go ahead and drink a health pot now, because otherwise I am just going to die. So yeah, this guy doesn't do a lot of damage, but... Uh, our HP is pretty low, so always want to be careful here. Don't want to get screwed over by some <laughs> mob that's lower than level 50. That would have been super duper embarrassing. Okay, let's heal up. 200% to win. I thought my win, uh, my win spell should do a lot more, right? How much is it doing? Uh, slightly over 2,000. Not bad. Okay, let's heal again. Should I bring out a guest too? Yeah, I probably should, right? Let's bring out Shogun and Satsu. Uh, do I need to drink another health pot? Nah, I don't think so. Okay, maybe next one I need to. Let's go down. Oh, there we are. Okay, Minotaur Warrior. Level 40. He, he can't one-shot me, right? This guy is level 40. He probably can't even hit me. Oh, he managed to land one hit on me. Okay, let's heal. Man, the axe is getting in the way. Whoops, did I press the wrong button? Oh my god. Oh my god, that was embarrassing. Uh, full assault. Yeah, I pressed nothing right now. <clears throat> okay, let's restore some MP. And we just finish this off. Let's go right. Oh, I think we are reaching the end. Warrior Troll, level 60. I think this guy can definitely hit pretty hard if if we are not careful. Win, huh? Okay, so let's do this. One shot. Alright, easy. Should be nearing the end. Ruby Golem. 672 HP. Okay, you want to hit him with ice. You know what? I don't really care. I think win will do right. 100%. Yeah, 100% is okay. Let's drink a health pot. Ooh, probably shouldn't have done fire. Should have just gone for pure win. That would have been better. Let's heal up some MP. Okay. I think the pure win attack is slightly stronger in this case. Alright, and... Come on, are we not at the end yet? Christ back. Christ bats like to hang around crystal caves and tend to really hate being awoken from their beauty naps. Okay, so Safira Kneebot. Easy. There we are. There, what is that? Looks like a tree stump. What happened to the tree? What happened? Your kind happened. Whoa, wait a second, big guy. I just got here looking for a rare legendary item. If there's nothing here, then I would like to just leave. You cannot leave. I will not allow it. You and your kind must pay for your crimes. Of course. Gypsus. Okay, level 100. Uh, let's just start. Let's see. A weak to darkness. Okay, doesn't do a lot of damage. Last visiting in the crystal cave, guarding the remains of Corundum. Okay. And I think, oh, not enough for destruction burst. Whoops, Daisy. Alright, so this guy should be the final boss. I quite like his design, looks pretty cool. 8Z tokens, always welcome. I, I give up, if you would destroy me, so be it. No, I'm done fighting you. You seem to be a noble creature. Tell me what this crime is you speak of. The tree, our dear, dear Corundum. She was so beautiful. I am Gypsus, the last visitor in these caverns. They definitely look a lot different from their dragon fable counterparts. 
Uh, the Giant Paper counterpart looks a lot more furry. <laughs> For lack of a better word. We Visalines live to bring light, stored in crystals into the darkest depths of the world. The crime, the tragedy I speak of happened years ago. Flashback time. Only through a tree can our race propagate through the generations. When I was young, I possessed a different form. Being living crystal, we are able to change our forms as we grow. And so when one of your kind came here and our beautiful tree was harmed, it was the beginning of the end. As I grew, I took on the form of your kind, the form of my enemy. All of my brothers left this cavern to search for other Visalane colonies. I, Gypsus, was chosen to remain, forever watching over our beautiful tree. That's really sad. Tell me about it. Is there anything I can do to help? Alas, nothing can help me. This is my destiny. But perhaps you can do something I could not. Each of my brothers took a seed from our beautiful tree, which they could use to begin a new colony should they not find another. I was unable to take a seed, and so the one you see is doomed to have no destiny of its own. You want me to take the seed, but where do I take it? There is a perfect cavern in the Dwarf Hole Mountains. Find it and plant the seed there. Do that and I can remain here for eternity knowing that I did all I could. That's really sad too. Tell me about it. Oh, one last thing. Whatever happened to the super rare and powerful items that I was supposed to find here? I don't remember them. Most likely they were taken. You will have to come here years ago to find out. Okay, thank you. One day soon I am sure you will find the cavern in Dwarf Hole. There you will take the seed and help my race. Good luck to you. Continue this quest in Dragon Faber. Leave the cave. Search Dwarf Hole on the travel map. Okay, the next part, I don't know if it's Link. I don't know if this is necessarily the next part, but you know what? We'll just continue uh, here. Dwarf Hole on the travel map. Uh, I don't really remember a Dwarf Hole in Adventure Quest. I know it. I remember it very well in Adventure Quest Wars because that was the place for the third law of Chaos, Vath. For Adventure Quest, where in the world is Dwarf Hole? Let me see here. Uh, no, no. Am I blind? I'm probably blind. You guys are probably screaming at me in the comments. How can you miss something so obvious? Yeah, I know, right? Or oh, is it under a different name? Mysterious Bridge, Stone Rule, Crater, Shapeshifter, Mount Troll. Oh, these are Kindred, Paxia, Moglo Habilis, Mass Murder. Uh, no, it's not any of these, that's for sure. Dwarf Hole, where is Dwarf Hole? Frost, Real Wolf, Rise, Dragon. Oh, there we are. <laughs> yeah, I'm blind. Deep in the Dwarf Hole Mountains, you find a hidden cavern system. What could await underneath? Wait, what could await beneath the surface? Oh, your comments, guys. I found a place. Do not. Tell me, I found a place, okay? Among the giant mountains and deadly cracks of Dwarf Hole, you seem to have found a large cavern system, hidden for centuries underground. What awaits in the depths? Hello, is anybody here? Seems abandoned. No sign of life that I can see. How intruder, this is my home. Only if you have a Visalane seat can you claim this cavern. My, you do have a Visalane seat. They are very, very rare these days. What do I do with it? These caverns no longer belong to me. You must place the sea on the ground, but wait until I leave. Why wait? Because I don't know what will happen exactly, and I like to be far away. Um. Oh great, well here goes nothing. Okay. Oh. That can't be good. Oh, nice. Nice, wow. I'm Malachia, girl child of Corundum. Thank you for bringing me to this sacred place, a talking crystal tree, double wow. To thank you, please take this crystal shell from the seed which bore me. It will channel magical light to help you in battle. Nice, so that's the legendary items, I guess. And by take, you mean we have to buy it off a talking crystal tree. What exactly do they want go for? I have no idea. Uh, there's, there's one little gripe that I have regarding these sort of things. It's like... Uh, there are rewards and they are like given to you, but why do you still need to pay for them, you know? Like, okay, gameplay-wise, I guess it makes sense. Otherwise, we'll be getting most of the stuff for free, but law wise it doesn't make sense. Like, why do I have to pay a talking crystal tree in gold <laughs> to buy items? What for would a talking crystal tree need gold pieces for? Right. The Shell of a Visiting Seed, this magical weapon focuses powerful light onto your enemy, so it's not max level, so pass it up. In time, I will start a new colony of Visiting and bring light to this entire cavern. Thank you once more and good luck on your journey. Seeko, Corundum Corruption. 
The corruption of the Visalines happened many eons ago, but the effects are about to be felt today. A foul corruption has been has awaked in the borough of a small group of Visaline protectors and their charge. This corruption threatens the very earth around them. Sensing this and knowing what could happen if left unchecked, Wallach has summoned you to his shop. Oh, oh, we started a mech quest leading up to this dragon favor battle in the war and this event's conclusion. Your message sounded urgent. What's wrong? Something that never should have occurred. A crisis that was supposed to have been dealt with long ago by you. Me? I know I've messed up a few times, but I need to be specific since I don't remember anything like this. Not yet exactly, but a past version of you in a very different timeline. What? Who? When? Now? So the short version is a past you a past you are supposed to stop a large amount of corruption from infecting the planet. Ooh, is this linked to the crystal asteroid storyline inside of Mech Quest? And then you had the crumb uh you had the cave the crystal cave uh quest inside of Dragon Fable and now it leads up to this. Ah, interesting. You thought you had succeeded, but you apparently missed something and that's now about to unleash itself upon us. Is there a sequel to this in AQ Worlds? I actually don't know. If you guys know, let me know down in the comments below. For all of you AQ World players out there, is there another sequel to this in AQ Worlds? So like an analog? Because back in the day, uh, everything used to be connected. But of course, right now, it's all like branching out different timelines. So I don't really know. There might no longer be a connection. Yeah. So like an analog? Yes, that's right. Huh, I knew I had analogs too. But I know so little about them. So this other me failed in his mission? Evidently so, as the signs cannot be denied. Wonderful. So what exactly is about to be unleashed? Darkness corrupted, light aligned, crystal beings like the Brujado. No, the Brujado left the Lady of Light freely. These are very different. How? <coughs> the Shadow Scythe. Beings of evil that are aligned with the darkness element attempted to conquer everything eons ago. You, the past you there is stopped them, but during that time they tried various ways to corrupt and control the lesser beings. Using pure darkness magic and fusing it with the hatred of others, they were able to twist and corrupt the minds of a small group of crystal beings. Apparently you missed one of the things because not only has the corruption resurfaced but it has spread to others. An army of creatures has begun pouring out of a network of caves deep in the dwarf hole mountains. They've shown signs of the corruption and are infecting others with it. If something isn't done soon, this type of corruption will wash over everything, twisting minds and allowing the shadow scythe to actually win. You know, eventually we are going to have to have a talk about letting me know how about end of the world events before it's almost too late. Perhaps, but the day isn't today. We first need to make sure we are able to have that talk. Right. An army of teachers has begun pouring out of a network of caves d deep in the dwarf home mountains of Adventure Quest. If something isn't done soon, this type of corruption will wash over everything, twisting minds and allowing the shadow side to take over. Awesome. Uh, explore camp? Ooh. No more? Ah, back in the day, that was how it was like. But you only get a BTH bonus, very small and 0.1%. So yeah, not really worth it. Let's go to battle. Crystal Hound. Oh my god. Uh, oh god. Uh, I hate this quest. What in the world are these numbers? What the heck? Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? Come on, man. Come on, man. What are these resistances? Uh, this is gonna be a long, long battle. Oh, okay. Actually, it's not that bad. Yeah, okay. It's not that bad. Well, I thought it was going to be a lot worse. Oh, uh, yeah. I was expecting something like those numbers. Okay, it's not that bad with Destruction Burst. Yeah, I was expecting a lot lower numbers. Thankfully, Destruction Burst still comes true every time. Whew. Man, if, if my character was hitting similar numbers to my guess, I, I would literally kill myself. Maybe I'm just overreacting. <laughs> yeah, wow. Thank God that didn't take too long. Okay, and it seems like uh, monsters in this quest suddenly want to start scaling to your level, so we are going to have to be careful here. Neko, let's do mech a lot. Hit with wind, right? <coughs> uh, weapons, let's do big dictionary. 
And let's turn on all the toggles. Been a while since we last played with all these toggles, right? Okay, so let's do win. Probably should have done the setup. Because this one has quite a lot of health. Yeah, I probably should have done the setup. Oh well. This is going to take a while. Surprisingly, this took longer than that diamond dog with like two with like eighteen percent resist. Yeah. Okay, at least the burn and the bleed is doing a good job. Yeah. Uh. Yeah, it's doing decent. Let's do this. Okay, let's do the cheap one. Full Assault more damage or is the win one alone more damage? I think it's about the same, right? Yeah, I think it's about the same. Okay. 10 Z tokens. And we got a heal. Very nice. Next one, Ruby Golem. Okay, uh, fire, huh? So we'll go into our Bard of War. Oh, yes, yes. Now, now we can play with this again. I love this. Come on, miss. Please miss. Can I get him to miss? I think I can. Dodge Lash. Let's go. Let's go, baby. Alright. Uh, Boost my defenses. You know what? I think we won't bother with the gas. Mix nuts. Let's do the walnuts. Right, Slayer Dirk. Oh, before I do that, let's do some Pixel. Wait, no. Let's do some Prime Chaos Orb first. Okay, done. Oh, and he managed to hit. How did he manage to hit? I have over 100 defenses, right? How many? Corruption level is 5. Yeah, how, how is he hitting me? How in the world is he hitting me? Oh my god. Ah, dodge slash. I love this new build. Oh, he hit you again. Wait, how? How? This guy is level 105. How is he hitting, hitting you over 100 MRM? Wait, what? What's going on? How is he hitting over 100, through over 100 MRM? That's more like it. Alright, so he's dead. Uh, we'll do this, and he dies. Okay. Yeah, wow, how is that guy hitting through over 100 MRM? I do not understand. Okay, nice. We can do... You know what? Let me just bring out the apprentice here, shall we? New build, guys. 2021 year of backlash. 2022 year of dodge slash, guys. I seriously hope that the staff um releases more, you know, items for dodge slashing. I think this is a really really fun build, and I think yeah, it's 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 great, guys. It's just great. Right, so uh, Moglowin is also around the corner, which means we are almost there with the, what do you call that? We are almost there with the, um, uh, the ghost costume already. Yep, the best blocking armor ever inside of the entire game. So I can't wait for that to come out so we can finally use it. Okay, so let's just skip turn here. 24, okay, 32. He hit through. Okay, Bright Slayer, the wait, no, let's do Walnuts. And then we do Bright Slayer, the alright. We are over 100 MRM now, shouldn't hit. And he should be dead, nice. Very, very nice. The only downside is the, the SP cost for this is a little bit expensive. But yeah, you, you have returned to us. You who failed to protect, who did not keep his word. The darkness has claimed me, us. We all serve. 
I'm sorry, but I don't know what you're talking about. This is the first I remember hearing of what happened to you. I'm sorry it happened and I would have helped you had I known. Silence, I know. Your lies, the darkness has revealed all to me. I know what I must do, what they command me to do. Destroy. Oh no, you don't. His charade. 10,000 health. Holy mama. Okay, so darkness. So we'll go into our uh, darkness equipment first. Because I don't know if he'll go first. Let's just try and dodge slash the crap out of this guy, alright? Dark corruption evoked through your body. Ooh. Yikes. Darkness damage each round. 7.07. .07. Huh, can we dodge slash through this? 7.07 .07 is ridiculously high, guys. I don't really feel super comfortable with that. Oh my god. Yeah, I don't really feel comfortable. I don't know, man. I don't want the, the stupid corruption to one-shot me or something like that. Power 7. Oh my god. That's crazy, dude. That's really crazy. Uh, Imano. Konami. Let's do Bag of Mixed Nuts. Walnuts. Um, I'm going to try. Okay, I won't try in the Fujin costume. I'll see how much damage it does first. This shouldn't be able to one-shot me. Hopefully not. Alright, um, let's see here. Power Gondola, I guess we can try this out. Oh, whoops, not enough SP. Power Gondolet, please work. Nope, didn't work. That's okay. Uh, Chaos Orb. Okay, now we do Bright Slayer Dirk. Let's go ahead and Purple Rain on this back. Come on. Work your magic, please. Please. Are you kidding me? Finally, okay. God damn, finally. Okay, uh, let's gain a bit more SP. And what we'll do here is we'll use the shield on this as well. Hopefully that's enough. Okay. Uh, I think the corruption is not very noticeable. Yeah, it's not very noticeable from what I can see. I think we should be fine. Yeah, the damage isn't really a lot. Is there even any damage? Hmm. Am I missing something here? Doesn't feel like there's any damage at all to me from the corruption. Okay, I guess that's a good thing. Uh, what was it that I wanted to do now? Oh yeah, chaos up again, right? Let's do one more. Let's do, you know what, let's just spam this. Oh, disable already, come on. 290, okay. Yeah, it's it's alright, it's not that bad, honestly. 1132, okay, that's pretty good. Uh, okay. It's enough of that. And we can do damage as well, by the way. If you really want to maximize your damage, you can do damage while you have all this uh, blocking set up. So I still got 3 turns left. Okay. Wow, very nice. Let's do more Prime Chaos Orb. How many already? 6. Oh, only 6? Strange. I expected a lot more. Okay. Whoa, over 1,500 damage. Nice. Uh, let's do Bright Slayer Duck. Skip turn. Come on, give it to me. 5.1k, 3.2k. Nice. Okay, so our defense boost is about to wear off. So, to do Mix Nuts again. Let's do this. And let's bring our Essence Orb. Prime Chaos Orb, 13, okay, Slayer Orb, and then we will go ahead and turn on our Suit of Armor as well, alright, so hopefully this should be enough for blocking, yep, it is, okay, very nice, and we can just Prime Chaos Orb, again, one more time, actually I don't even think we need to, we can just finish it off here, oh, wait, 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 what, hold on, Wait, why did he suddenly... Oh, wait. Oh, wait, wait. Wow, what the heck just happened? Wait, 
What just happened? Why did he suddenly gain wind resist? Uh, how did he... Why do these things always happen to me, guys? <sighs> Wait, how did he hit through my shield, number one? And number two, why did he suddenly gain wind resist? And number three, how did he suddenly hit for that much damage? Oh, okay, the Prime Chaos Orb, alright. How did he hit through my shield, though? How did he suddenly gain wind resist? Oh my god. Okay, so yeah, I decided to not go the dodge slash route this time and just, you know, go ahead and finish off the old-fashioned way. And I have no idea what happened just now, but for some weird reason, uh, he suddenly had wind resist. Oh! Ah. Silly me, I <laughs> just figured it out. It's the Prime Chaos Orb. Ah, my god, Corriban, you are so dumb. Ah. I swear to god, at the rate I'm going, all my videos are going to turn into a freaking meme, dude. Why am I losing to these basic monsters, basic bosses with no mechanics whatsoever? I am a max level player putting out guys of guides for you guys, and I am making stupid mistakes like these. <sighs> it's okay, it's okay. Uh, you know what? Roast me in the comments. I think I deserve it for sure on that one. <sighs> It was too far gone. I wish I didn't have to destroy it. Now these creatures deserve this. No, they did not. They only did what they were told to do. I am awakened from my long sleep. The darkness I was gifted with has given me power beyond anything my kind has ever known. I hear their whispers, their commands. They want you to suffer for what you have done. You who tried to ruin their great work many cycles ago. I shall take revenge for them. Oh, another one. Okay, Richter Rao. This one has a lot lesser HP, so that's okay. One of the Visalin, a race whose bodies are composed of, incre of incredibly sharp crystals. This one has been corrupted by an overwhelming darkness. Oh, reduce my effectiveness. That's not great. Okay, so... Yeah, we'll just do the nuking setup. I don't know what in the world I was thinking there. Uh, I guess I am not familiar enough with the setup to... With, with the dodge slash thingy yet to go ahead and try all these kind of stupid strategies. Whew, but okay, it is what it is. Uh, let me bring out Shogun and Satsu. Light, we'll stick with that. Uh, what else do we need? Power Gauntlet. Yep. Let's do uh, Mixed Nuts. And now we can start Shadow Feeder. <coughs> Someone should really make a shock Pikachu face using my face. <laughs> Every time, dude, I swear to God, every freaking time, I get caught off guard over the silliest of things. I have no idea why I do this to myself, but yeah, I guess it's good entertainment for you guys, right? Uh, shields, Celtic wheel, armor, I hope. Reduces effectiveness, not my chance to act, right? This, this doesn't make me lose a turn, right? Yeah, hopefully it doesn't. If it does, then I might get one-shotted. I don't know. Uh, I hope I don't. Let's see here. Zorbeck door. And let's do... I think we are set. Okay. Let's do the light spell. Oh, one miss. Come on. Okay, let's switch back to Twilight's Mantle. Dragonlord's Will. And let's cast the spell again. Please land all your hits. Come on. Why does he... Keep missing one hit. Uh, which one do we want? I think full assault would be best here. Ninety percent is still okay. Okay. Nice weaken. Oh, okay. He missed. That's good. Now, without any dodge buffs, he can miss. But for some reason, just now his hits went through despite my over a hundred MRM. Yeah, go figure, guys. This game works in mysterious ways, I swear to God. Okay, let's do... So, back door, let's go back in our generalist. Let's try and nuke him again. 
uh, let's see here which what's our nuke oh from the tome right okay nice now we switch back to twilight's mantle and i think this should be it okay let's draw some mana and let our guests finish the job all right done there you go what was he i've never faced anything like that before he was what the shadow side wanted us all to be when their first plan failed a puppet someone who would do anything they wanted and feel no remorse for it a moment if you will whoa what was that i put the corruption that was in this cave out of it just like i did to the creatures you defeated outside hot damn once again we see how powerful warlick is when we are done here, I'll send this darkness back to the elemental plane that it came from. The darkness lord will know what to do with it. The single seed that corrupted Corundum dropped when you defeated it is also cleansed, so it will eventually regrow. At least one good thing will come of this. Why did this happen in the first place? What did the Shadow Scythe hope to actually accomplish? Did they just want servants? Yes and no, they wanted servants, yes, but they were also were testing what would and wouldn't work in this plane. When they started this experiment, they had many plans in motion and this one just took longer to work. We were able to stop it though, we prevented a darkness that would have swept across the entire planet. Well, that's all well and good, that has me wondering something. What would that be? If the Shadow Scythe were able to do this, what else is out there that hasn't surfaced yet? Okay, so ending, I guess. Do we ever get to see another part? Oh, this was a proper war, right? Visiling Vision. Wait, was this recent? This one has level 150 stuff. Oh, oh this actually looks pretty nice. Leave your opponents bleeding. Yeah, but I won't get it. Yeah, the, the design looks pretty nice and modern. I have a feeling this happened only recently, right? Yeah, I think it was in recent years when this event happened. So, yeah, that's going to do it for today's episode, guys. All about the Crystal Cave crossover. I hope you guys have enjoyed the video. If you have, be sure to give this video a thumbs up. And, of course, subscribe to this channel if you guys would like to see more of such future content. Also, Huge thanks to everyone for helping me to hit 2,000 subscribers. I am truly humbled and truly honored for all of your support over the years. Please do continue to support me and I will continue to put out good content for you guys. So yeah, till the next time, I'm your host, Corban Gaming. Peace out.